Jay, what are you doing? Oh, well, our last show we were in a band together called Emma and the Stray Cats. My grandma's cats were our backup dancers, and if I'm gonna dance alongside those cool cats, I better learn their moves. What was that one? Oh, you can't guess? It's a cat licking its paws and cleaning its ears to the beat. Come on. Uh, let me guess. This one looks like you're doing a move where you're too snobby and too good for me to the beat. Exactly. A cat classic. <laughs> And I'm Jay. Welcome to Press Play. Like Jay said, last time we were in a band. Grandma turned into Miss Business, our manager, and we were in a recording studio making a song about how God is with us even when we feel weak. Oh, it'd be cool to go back and see how it turned out. Before we press play, we should talk about something. Uh, what's that? Well, we're in a band with some of your grandma's cats. So? If I'm going to share creative space with these cats, I need to feel like I know a little about them. We're in a band, after uh, all. Of course. Here are the cats that made the cut, according to my grandma. There's Moses, named after, well, Moses. A wonderful dancer. Gets a little testy if he doesn't get his kitty kibble on time. Okay. Lewis, named after one half of Lewis and Clark, the Lewis half. Uh, great dancer, purrs in perfect pitch, likes people and other cats to remain at least a foot away from him at all times. My grandma is the only one allowed in the one-foot perimeter. Mm, okay. And then there's Chotsky. Meows in the key of E. It's crazy. You can tune instruments to her. Doesn't like exposed feet. You trust me on that one. You keep your shoes and socks on. Oh, Jay. What? Keeping this band together with all these crazy cats is going to be no small task. What do you mean? They've all got stuff. I'm not sure if it'll work out. Oh, it will. Watch. Let's do it. Three, two, one, press play. Meow. Oh, sweet. It's our concert and we're backstage. We must be about to go on. But where are the cats for Emma and the Stray Cats? Uh, oh, 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 Grandma. Oh, oh. I mean, Miss Business. That's her band manager's name. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Business has got a little bit of a big problem. What do you mean? Where are the cats? Well, sorry, y'all, but Elvis didn't get his kitty cube on time, so we got less than a foot away from Lewis, and then my slippers got caught in the tussles, and then Chalchki lost it. They're in no condition to perform tonight. We're about to go on. This is a big, big problem. Well, what are we going to do? You both are right. This is a big problem. But maybe what we need right now is a little perspective. You know, that's a way of looking at things. In 1 Samuel 17, God's people thought they had a problem too big for anyone to do anything. That problem was a huge Philistine soldier named Goliath. Ooh. The Philistines were the Israelites' arch enemy. They were on opposite hills about to clash when Goliath stepped up and said, if any Israelite could beat him in battle, the Philistines would give up. But if no one could, then the Philistines would win. The Israelites were bummed because, like us, they didn't know how to overcome this big, big problem. They didn't think anyone ever could beat Goliath. Huh. David was still just a boy when this was happening, but he heard what Goliath was saying and he got mad. He didn't want anyone to taunt God and God's people as Goliath was doing. So guess what he did? He stepped up to fight. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Jay, have you heard this story before? Yeah, but I like to act like I haven't. Try it. Okay. Um. Oh, that's crazy! As crazy as Elvis without his kibble. Saul was still king at this point, even though God had already chosen David to be king after him. So David told Saul he was going to fight Goliath. Saul thought he could help David overcome Goliath by giving him his armor, but it was too big. Oh. And David took it all. So what did he have? You're right, Jay. This is fun. <gasps> oh. He only had a sling and five stones. That was it. Five. Goliath laughed at David. He made fun of him. And he also made fun of God. Ooh, he was really asking 
praying for it. First Samuel 17, 45 says, David said to the Philistine, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. They came at each other, okay? Now, it seemed impossible that little bitty David could take down Goliath. Then he took out a single stone. He slung it, <gasps> shot it, bullseye down came the big guy. Oh. Oh. If God can help David overcome Goliath, then God can help Emma and the Stray Cats do this show. Meow, 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 meow. Hey, there you go. And look, oh, I just got a text message. It looks like God's already working. While I was telling you the story, I got a text from my cat sitter saying that Elvis got his kitty kibble. Lewis settled, and Chowski actually brought my slipper on over to my cat sitter. Well, thank you, Lord. They'll be here in a minute. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. <laughs> that was amazing. They want us to come back out. And I know just what to sing. Overcome big things. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Now, everyone, join us for the press play handshake. Mm -hmm. oh. huh. I can't believe that actually happened. Well, believe it. David beat Goliath with God's help, right? Emma and the Stray Cats just had the best show ever with God's help. Nothing's too big for God. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little excited. It's okay, me too. <laughs> Let's recap. We press play and we're backstage at our show, but our cat backup dancers were dealing with some big issues and we weren't sure if we could overcome them. Grandma, our band manager, shared the story of David and Goliath from 1 Samuel 17. Just like God helped David overcome Goliath, God, you help us overcome big things. Remember that today, friends, no matter what you're facing. Now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh. I can't wait to drop this verse. Oh, if you got a harp, get it out now. Get it out right now if you got a harp. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. Psalm 147, 7. Psalm 147, 7. Seven, 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 seven. seven. seven.